Wow, the mosquitoes have officially welcomed us to northern Wisconsin here. Brand new episode, but we are gonna film the intro in a different spot because they are extremely thick, so we'll see you in a second. All right, welcome to a weekend in northern Wisconsin, everyone. We're officially transitioned from out of the Green Bay area to up north, and it's a, it's a fun transition. We like this time of year. We got water temps that finally warmed up into the 68, 69 degree range, and we're coming off a weekend of big fish. We've got the musky bug, so we want to keep it rolling. I mean, Jake got a 52, I got a 50, he got a 48, and we've got some other nice fish mixed in there too. So Alex is along for the uh, first trip of the year for him. So we'll see if we can put some fish in the boat. It's gonna be a new, new water weekend and uh, a little bit of exploring, but that's uh, what we like doing. So keeping it fresh and some variety, mixing it up. So as far as how we break down new water, I mean, we keep it pretty basic. And we've had people ask us, where do you start? And a lot of it, I mean, as basic as it sounds, is just to go out and fish it. But where it starts is in the research and just, I mean, we use different books like Sportsman's Connections just to finally get a, kind of get a bead on what's out there, what structures in the lake, look for points, um, you know, underwater points, then depths we want to fish. So this particular time of year, I mean, coming off the uh, later spring that we've had, we're fishing shallow structure right now. So stumps, shallow weeds, and uh, different types of snags. So that's where we're gonna start and that's the key, just to get out and start fishing and explore. So put the time in a little bit to research these lakes and find out through different surveys or, you know, DNR websites if they even have muskies and then kind of go from there. So let's get to fishing, see if we can put some fish in the boat this weekend. didn't take very long. God, I hit it once before it must have missed it or something. I can't tell it like it was hit a rock. Guess it came right out of shallow wood, huh? Yeah. That thing is funny. For yeah. a little fella, you know? Yeah. Look good. 29. 29. First one of the year, though. There we go. Let's get a nice one. Well, that thing was feisty for a 29. Well, the monkey's officially off the back for Al. We've got one for the weekend so far, so how many can we get? All right, so bait presentations. What are, we, what are we going with right off the bat here? So we always like to run variety, especially when we're on new water and uh, trying to find fish. So Alex just caught that one on a, it's a purple with a gold blade, single bladed Esox Assault, and then Jake's running the mini beaver for a little bit of a, more of a jerk bait presentation. And then I'm twitching a six inch crane crane bait. So if, uh, I don't know, we got different presentations going. I mean, we're gonna switch throughout the day, obviously, but uh, that's off the bat, that's what we're going with right now, so.
There's one. Oh, that's a good one, dude. That is a big fish. That's a big fish. Holy cow, that's big. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, was that big. Oh yeah, that was big. She won. She tried eating it twice. That was 50. That was a 50 inch fish. And thick. I just wanted to grab it. I didn't want to move. I didn't even want to breathe. I, I didn't, I didn't How many did times anything. did I go around? Two or three times. And she times. paused right there like, I'm going to eat it. And all of a sudden, she, well, see she, tail, like, she would nip it. I even tried to stop to see if she would just like, the bait would stop enough that it would kind of go in her mouth. <laughs> That's what we want to see. Yeah. I saw the thing coming way out. <laughs> ah, she just wow. didn't want to commit. I mean, she just barely, barely. I think she was frickin' biting the tinsel behind that hole. Really? <laughs> Holy On the X-Toad. Alright, nice little, probably about 30 incher. Got him on the X-Toad on the 8. That was pretty sweet watching him eat that thing. Came in deep and just hung it on that corner and just smoked it. So, we'll get her back. On the X-Toad, show season. First fish, first follow or anything. So I like how it was working and stuck with it and got one for us. So two in the boat so far, no size, but we might as well recap the day a little bit here. So Alex caught the one right away this morning, the, small, the smaller one. And then he lost a mid 30s or had one swipe at it. Jake raised an upper 30s. Then Jake raised uh, low 40s, and that was right around moon, about 45 minutes before it. And basically, we found new weeds and like a point that came out with weeds on it. So uh, we worked that hard through moon, and uh, basically 45 minutes before it, Jake had that one up. One thing that we haven't mentioned as far as breaking down new water too is the fact of electronics. And with Jake's Helix 10 with the mega imaging, we've been side imaging trying to find weed edges or patches of weeds and weed beds. Yeah, so this is the inside of the edge here. And then here's the outside of the edge. It starts at about four feet, ends at about six. And that's how we located that one where Jig actually raised that, that big fish off of. So finding, finding these weed edges, using your electronics, and taking some time to just drive around a little bit can benefit you as far as where you should be pinpointing your time and casting at these fish. So we're gonna keep running up and down this new weed edge here and uh, 
It's actually kind of a wheat bed that we're just working through. But water temps are actually climbing pretty quick. I mean, we started out, I think I mentioned it was 68, 69, but even that morning, as, as we moved across the lake, we were finding warmer and warmer water. And we're up over well over 70 now, so 71, 72, sometimes even 73. So these fish are definitely in the weeds. And uh, been fishing a little bit on the shallower side, but like mostly keeping the boat probably in six to eight feet of water. So let's see if we can uh, add some size to the next fish. All wrapped up. Oh, that was sweet. <laughs> oh man, I got. I got all the sweet. Oh, I tripped so hard. <laughs> the camera I fell on the bottom of the pool. Oh my gosh. Oh, so, man. what is it? Eight twenty-seven. So sunset is in twenty minutes. We haven't had any action since three o'clock today. And we were sitting there talking amongst ourselves saying there's got to be one that goes at sunset here. It's just the whole, the rest of the day we've had action, even high noon. Jake raises that huge one. And now the water chopper, the numerous water chopper comes through again. Yeah, she took a little coax and it finally ate that thing. Yeah, you can see. Well, all three of us got to watch. Yeah, that was awesome. That is, that is one of the best things about top water. He goes wake and all of a sudden you see that tail. And then watch the heat. Well, he right played there. that thing, zigzagged that thing all the way in. Yeah. And then finally that hard turn by the bullet. That L turn. Nice, nice job, man. Biggest fish of the day right here. Yeah. We've been working for it. Got 40, maybe 40 and a half. Nice. It's a good fish. Yeah, this is a nice fish. We got our 40, so. Yeah. Pretty fish, too. Nice and clean. Yeah. Top water. Yes. Nice job, Jake. You got it. We were looking for that 40. At least we, we wanted a, we wanted a 40-inch fish. I mean, just to you know, kind of top off the day. We got two already. Well, yeah, new water. Yeah, that's the other thing. We've been moving fish, catching fish, seeing some big ones. Yeah. Yeah, so. that and it's been keeping us motivated the whole time. And this right here is a big. It's a big, wide flat. It's like four, five, six feet of water. Yeah. But these weeds are all just thick. I mean. They've grown up nice, it's nice cabbage, so we've been working that edge, or keeping the boat on the edge, casting up into them, and we just got basically to the end of it, and that's where that fish was kind of on, so. 71 degree water temps, top water. All right, we got time yet, let's yeah. get another one. Let's try. That was fun. Pizza party. <laughs> nice job, guys, that was cool. I, oh, 
It's gonna be very I didn't reel my pole in. I'm like, is that way too Strained my neck. Didn't even reel my pole in. My bait's right out there. All I saw here was. I'm looking at the fish. I don't know what the heck's going on back here. I'm like, somebody please have the net ready because. You're lucky I didn't fall into the net. Well guys, after a long day of fishing, but a successful day of fishing, we're wrapping her up, we're calling her, calling her for the day. We were up at 4.30 on the water, about 6.30. It's pushing 9.30 right now, so I don't even know how many hours that is, but it's like 14, 15 hours of fishing, but it was worth it. We had a, we had a good day, it was fun. And uh, anytime you get out on new water and put fish in the boat, it's a good feeling. So. We, uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and this footage and uh, some of the helpful tips, I mean, as far as breaking down new water. We had a, people asking over the winter, you know, comments and stuff on YouTube saying, how do you guys approach it? And we just thought we'd throw some hopefully helpful tips out there for you guys that can help you guys put more fish in the boat. So we are got to pack up right now because the mosquitoes are coming out like mad like they were this morning. So. Yeah, uh, we gotta thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it as always. We'll see you on the next episode.